women are playing a vital role in the development of science research and innovation across the Middle East. UNESCO figures show up to 57% of science, technology, engineering and mathematics graduates in Arab countries are women, while in the United Arab Emirates, 61% of university STEM students are female. But globally, are women's degrees being put to good use? And what exactly is still holding women back today? So what we see is uh, that women drop out at different stages of their science career. So you have a, a first barrier that starts at school, you know, when girls are told that science is, and mathematics and computer is less for them. So that leads to a disengagement in a lot of parts of the world uh, uh, to, in, to science study, not in this region. And I think this is very interesting because that counter arguments a little bit that idea that women are not interested in STEM, in computer, in tech, because here we see they are. It might be another one that the parents very often the parents think that this is not an interesting um, subject for women, for the girls to study. So there can be the environment, the parents, the family, um, the teachers that can be discouraging when this goes on. Uh, when they in go to, to university, you have other barriers. There is gender bias, there is discrimination. So at every stage of a career of a woman scientist, they have obstacles. The annual L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Young Talents Award ceremony was held at Expo 2020 Dubai, recognizing 14 Arab female scientists from the Middle East and North Africa region, two of whom were from the UAE. They were celebrated for their groundbreaking research and fascinating discoveries in photonics and organ transplants. It's um, a field that requires lots of patience and perseverance. So I think the, uh, the, the type of research that we are doing um, uh, is very special, requires lots of resources, lots of dedication from, uh, from us. So, but the positive side that I think in being in UAE, I've been really honored to be among lots of universities that offer for us the right environment to do the research. Empowering and educating women is critical to the future, not only for innovation and growth, but also for the overall improvement of the economy. Women in the UAE are becoming pioneers in their field, and extra support from the UAE government, as well as business communities such as here in Dubai Science Park, are going to be essential going forward. Emirati women in particular are continuing to make their mark with a growing presence in medicine and make up at least 35% of health sector employees in the country. As an Emirati woman in science, I was encouraged to pursue uh, my degree in STEM and I was also encouraged to go into the research career path uh, from the government, from different mentors in my university. My research aims to enhance the organ transplantation in, uh, in the UAE and the for, for the Arabian uh, region and that is because the Arab genome is underrepresented in the global genome database and that is why uh, healthcare in the Arab region is facing unique, unique challenges for uh, translating their biomolecular research into clinical uh, practice. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought with it new challenges, including increased scientific demands and complexities. And the role of women in the UA and Dubai has become more important than ever. The UA's Emirates Mars mission launched from Dubai, where women made up 34% of the mission and 80% of the science team. I've had the privilege of working with remarkable women, especially on the science team of the Emirates Mars mission. They were all there, not because we imposed a quota, but because we leveled the playing field. The best people for the job were working on the mission, because you can't compromise on development, but you need to be open to accepting people from so many different backgrounds. Living in the UAE, one of the fundamental aspects that I've had the privilege of having is access to education and access to challenging science and, and mathematics at all stages of my life. Increased global recognition and awareness and the UA's continuous commitment to its women through more opportunities, both professionally and within the government, means the country is helping lead the region towards a more competitive, knowledge-based economy.